Milo the Mountie, written and illustrated by Kennedy Ann. Since Milo was very young, he has dreamed of becoming a Royal Canadian Mounted Police Officer. Milo has one big problem though. He is a moose, not a horse. For all history, the RCMP has always been horses, and only horses. Never before has a moose become an officer. Even though Milo dreams every night that he is a Mountie, everyone tells him it is impossible. Milo lives in St. John's, Newfoundland with his family. He loves to play in the forest and swim in the Atlantic Ocean. Milo's favorite game to play is Officer. He gallops through the woods like he is a horse pretending to save his family from bad guys in danger. Milo loves to be the hero and wishes he could be one like the real Mounties. The Royal Canadian Mounted Horses train in Regina, Saskatchewan. There, they have big open fields that seem to go on forever. Milo loves to watch them train on TV as he eats his favorite snack of berries. On Milo's birthday, his parents gave him the best present ever, a plane ticket to Regina, Saskatchewan. Milo is super excited to see the horses in real life. He has a hard time sleeping that night because of his excitement. The next day, Milo gets on the plane bright and early. On his way to Regina, Milo looks out the window as he flies over the other provinces. He likes to look at the clouds and see what shapes he can make out of them. Them. Once Milo finally arrives in Regina, he is amazed by how beautiful it is. All he can see is big open field and lots of sunshine. Milo's best friend, Riley the raccoon, also lives in Regina. So Milo goes to meet her. Riley takes Milo to the field where the horses train. They are so much bigger in real life than on television. Milo and Riley watch the horses train for hours and hours. When the sun starts to go down, Riley and Milo go to Riley's house for dinner. Milo spends all of his time in Regina watching the horses and dreaming of the day that he can be just like them. One day, the horses spot Milo and come over to ask him what he's doing here. When Milo tells the horses that he wants to be just like them, they are mean and laugh at him. The horses tell Milo he will never be like them because he is a moose. Milo goes back home to Newfoundland. He never stops thinking about what the horses said to him. Their words were hurtful. They made Milo very sad at first. Their words make Milo train even harder so he can prove the horses wrong. One day, Milo has a brilliant idea. He is going to the RCP training camp and is not going to stop until they let him in. Milo called Riley and told her his idea. She thought this was going to be hard, but Milo can do anything he puts his mind to. Milo flew back to Regina to meet Riley, and the two of them signed Milo up for training camp. When the first day of training came, Milo was so excited he couldn't contain himself. When Milo walked in the door, the horses kicked him out. This did not discourage Milo. He walked back in the door to try again. And like the first time, the horses kicked him out. Milo tried this until they finally decided to give him a chance. Milo completed every test better than all of the other horses because of his training and hard work. The trainer decided to let Milo to become a member because he did so well. The rest of Milo's family flew out from Newfoundland to Regina so they could watch Milo. The big day has finally come. Milo is going to become a Mountie. Milo is the first member of the RCMP that is a moose. Milo's parents and Riley are so proud of him for his accomplishments. Milo is the best police officer the Mounties have ever had. His determination and never giving up on his dream proved that if you believe in yourself and work hard, your dreams can come true.